Some lawmakers say the Biden administration is blowing off the impact of wind turbines on the U.S. military. So wind is a key part of the Biden climate agenda, but some experts say the turbines could interfere with radar and sonar communications and navigation in general. We don't want it to be too late to find out. Madison Allworth is live in Middletown, New Jersey with more. Hi, Madison. Hi, Dana. Yes, that timing is so important. This fall, we will have our first, our third development of offshore wind here in New Jersey. But at the same time, what we're hearing from experts is that there is real concern with national security. So this morning, we met with Representative Chris Smith here in New Jersey, just outside of one of the major naval ammunition bases, to discuss his bill that passed the House of Representatives on Thursday. That bill requires the president to sign off and give official approval of any offshore wind development, assuring that the project would not interfere with military operations. There's been a total lack of transparency on the part of the Biden administration. It's all out there in plain sight, hiding in plain sight. Uh, and yet the military has just clamped up and won't say a word. Uh, and that goes right to the very top of the Pentagon. So the big concern here is the weakening and interference of military sonar and radar and the blind spots that this offshore wind creates, uh, calling shadowing, where our adversaries could take advantage and s essentially sneak in or sneak past our own military. This is a concern that we see echoed by retired Navy brass. Take a listen. What you have to worry about is that is the military leadership, in fact, getting the point across that here are going to be the impacts on those classified systems and that they are having a voice at the table and they're not being roughshod, run over roughshod by political appointees in pursuit of a green energy agenda at the expense of our national security. When it comes to the Department of Defense, they are in line with the Biden administration's move in a statement to Fox Business saying, in part, quote, the Department of Defense supports the administration's offshore wind efforts and is committed to protecting American national security interests. It continues on. We're going to have a lease sale in the Gulf of Mexico for offshore wind. That'll be in August. Dana? Pay attention. Madison Allworth, yeah, great to see you. Thank sure you. Will.